But we want to begin with a major victory for the rebels in the battle for Libya. After intense fighting, they captured a key city, and they were helped by punishing airstrikes from U.S. and coalition forces. NBC News chief foreign correspondent Richard Engel is on the ground in Ashdabia this morning. Richard, good morning. Good morning, Lester. We are on the outskirts of Ajdabia. This, ha this town has clearly been taken by the rebels and with considerable help. You can see behind me one of Gaddafi's tanks that was obliterated by Western airstrikes. The rebels have actually not only taken Ajdabia, they have pushed about 50 miles to the west of here, so advancing their front line in the past 24 hours or so. They say they will continue this uh, until they can reach some more Gaddafi-held territory. This is a, a rebel now counteroffensive underway, assisted by the Western airstrikes. Lester? And Richard, the NATO uh, officials say they are not actively trying to assist the rebels, but in trying to protect civilians, their bombs are obviously helping. How far can the rebels advance, and, and is Gaddafi's army, in fact, crumbling? Uh, Gaddafi's army, army in this area is certainly crumbling. And when you look on the ground, we've seen about 20 armored vehicles that were destroyed from the air. It seems that this is not just a defensive operation. It is clearly one aimed at helping the rebels. They can push forward for probably 50 or 60 more miles from here. Once they reach the town of Sirte, they're likely to have a, a major battle because Sirt remains a Gaddafi stronghold. And as you pointed out time and time again, this is a ragtag army, not well equipped. If, if they lose the support, if those NATO airstrikes don't come or slow down, what happens to the rebels? Could they, could they end up retreating? Uh, the rebels could end up retreating, or more likely this could end up in a stalemate. They, they are clearly dependent on the Western airstrikes. As the airstrikes come through, the rebels have been marching in behind them, taking Ajdabia behind me, pushing on to Brega, and then seeing what will happen uh, further forward. If these airstrikes stop, the rebels will likely stop as well and give uh, Qaddafi's forces an opportunity to regroup and possibly recapture this area. Richard Engel and Ajdabia this morning. Thank you very much.